All right, for this uh, GRE question, um, we're told that m is 10 to the 32 plus 2, and we're told in the question that the m is divided by 11, and, they ask, and they're telling us that that remainder is r. Now, on the GRE, you know in the quantitative comparison section, you have to compare the value of quantity a to quality of quantity b. So in this case, we have to find this r first from the question and compare it to 3. So let's jump right into the question. So the... Uh, the question is asking for m, and it says that is equal to 10 to the 32 plus 2, and it's telling us to divide that by 11. Okay. Before I jump into this question, actually, you want to understand really what a remainder is. That's that's something a lot of people kind of get lost uh, about. So let me just give a really simple example here. If I say 5 divided by 2, okay, 5 divided by 2. When I ask, well, what is the remainder when 5 divides 2? Well, 2 goes in 5 two times. That's not the question, though. When it's asking the remainder of 5 divided by 2, the, the question, the, the answer to that is the remainder is 1. The reason is because five, and when 2 goes into 5, 2 will go as far as 4, because 2 can go into 4 two times. So 2 will go as far as 4 within 5, and then there's one left over because two cannot go beyond four when it's divided by five, so the remainder is one. So that's what a remainder is, what's left over when you've done the division and it doesn't go completely. So when I come into this question, it says 10 to the 32 plus 2 divided by 11. What you want to do mathematically with this is we need to simplify this a bit. So this 11 needs to split under the 10 to the 32 and under the 2. So it's going to look like this, 10 to the 32 over 11 plus 2. 2 over 11. So that needs to split up. Now, so this pretty much is telling me to find the remainder of this whole division here, we need to be able to find the remainder of this piece and this piece. All right. So let's tackle this piece, for example, the 2 over 11. The question is, how do you find the remainder of that? If you notice here, the 2 is so small, this 11 doesn't even go one time. Right? So the question is, how do you find that remainder? Well, it's a very simple concept there. Um, I'm going to write down on the side here. Uh, what you want to do here is, say for example, I'm going to give another example. If you have 2 over 7, if you have 3 over 7, if you have 4 over 7, let's look at these three examples. In these three examples, uh, the remainder when 7 tries to go in 2 is actually just 2 because 7 doesn't even have a chance of going one, one whole time. So you just pick the number up top here. So the remainder in this case is 3 and the remainder here is 4. If the number up top is smaller than the, the number that's dividing it, the remainder is just the number you see. Okay, so that means in this case, 2 over 11, the remainder is just 2. That's it. The remainder in this part is 2. So let's look at this part, the 10 to the 32 over 11. There is an idea there that one of the things I do in math is if I see a big complicated situation, I try to look at a smaller, small, smaller subset case, a smaller case that I can handle, see if there's a pattern there and then you know, bring it up to the to the big situation. So when I see 10 to the 32, I'm thinking, well, that's just in the same family as just 100 over 11 or say like 1,000 over 11. So the question is, if 11 goes in 100, what's the remainder? Well, you can see that 11 going in 100, it will go as far as 99, okay? As far as 99, nine times, but as far as 99. But the remainder there is one, because if it goes as far as 99 and we have 100, then the remainder is one, it's just one left over. Same thing here, 11 going in a, goes into 1,000, it's gonna go as far as 999, so again, the remainder is one. So what this is teaching me is, if I just have a multiple of 10 up here and I'm dividing by 11, I'm expecting this to have a remainder of 1 when 11 goes into this big number because of what I learned from here. Well, based on this, you just add these two, really. So the remainder, when you do this whole division, should just be 3. And as you can see in this case, that means this R is 3. And in quantitative comparison on the GRE, when the two values are the same, the final answer to this question is C. So the answer to this question is C, and that's how you do this question. Thank you.